Hi everyone. <laughs> oh gosh, and the hair is falling already. Great. Hi, my name is Laura. If you're new here, I'm hiking the Appalachian Trail this year, starting in February. It's coming up really soon. This week, I figured we'd do a little get to know me. I know Gabby Sarah just did this recently, as well as Appalachian Adventure Vista did this as well. Any hoses, we're just gonna get to know me. Since I have so many new subscribers lately, I was like, you know what? Let's, let's get to know me. The first question is when and where were you born? I was born in the 90s. I know this is a little bit 80s vibe, but you know, early 90s. <laughs> I was born in 1993, so you know. 29 right now, turning 30 this September. And I was born in Florida, South Florida actually. So, you know, I've lived in Florida my whole life. I've lived in different parts. I was in North Florida for a little while and now back in South Florida, so. Yeah. The next question is what sports have you played or do you currently play? So back in the day, your girl was a baller. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like this. I feel like it's because of the hair. But I used to play basketball, um, played it all the way from fourth grade up until high school and then, or played through high school. And then when I got to college, I didn't go to school for basketball or anything but I did play like on my sorority team. There was like a sorority league where we would play against other sororities, so I did that. Also in high school, I played volleyball, did a little cross country, not too much. I honestly hated running when I was younger, but now that I'm older, as you guys know, I am very much into long distance running. I've done um, several half marathons. I just recently did a 10K and a 5K in Disney, hence the shirt. <laughs> the next question is, what? Did I study in college? I, first of all, I went to Florida State University, go Seminoles. I studied education there. I, in particular, I went to undergrad for elementary education, wanted to be a teacher. Basically in second grade, I dreamed of decorating my own classroom. And then I actually went to grad school immediately graduating from undergrad. And I went to do curriculum and instruction in early childhood education. I'm a master, I'm a master of education. The next question is what kind of jobs have I had? Well, as you guys know, if you've been following my channel, listening to the more recent videos. I have been a teacher for quite a while. Um, this is actually my seventh year of teaching. So it's it's been a minute, it's been a minute. Um, but before teaching, I worked at a restaurant when I was in college for a little bit of time, Nukes, if you guys have heard of that, so good. Um, honestly, miss eating at Nukes, I really do. We need to have one down here in South Florida. I also have done like side work for like my dad's business. He has a painting and contracting company. So I've done like some paperwork and stuff for him. I've also gone on job sites and helped him out just like with basic things. So where have I traveled and I would say Say not very very many places <laughs> I've only been out of uh, of the United States on a cruise so I don't know if you really count that but otherwise I've traveled in the United States a little bit when I was younger we used to do a lot of road trips um, up to Wisconsin where most of my family my brother and sister-in-law currently live in Colorado so I've gone out and visited there as well um, I more recently just went to the um, foothills trail in South Carolina um, but a lot of traveling has been like road tripping type of situations um, when I was younger that was where most of my traveling came so I'm really excited and I'm looking forward to seeing the like eastern side of the United States because a lot of these states I've never been to so should be should be a good time next question is where was my first hike now when I immediately heard of this question I thought about when I was younger and my family used to go to this place called Gumbo Limbo it was this little teeny tiny nature trail that was like on a boardwalk at down here in South Florida and there was like a part where there was like like a little building where you could go in like a visitor center and like learn about the animals and the ecosystem and then you would like walk out on this trail there was like little parts where there were like edible plants that you could try like kind of like a learning center area where you could learn about the environment and then there was also the trail so immediately like i thought about that because we used to do that a lot when i was younger but like my first like real like hike hike like actually backpacking was actually out on the appalachian trail in 2021 i went out with my brother and sister-in-law for like an overnight we were planning like a five-day section we were going to go from amcola falls to neil's gap if you've been on this channel, you've heard this story a million times, but short story, the weather is horrible. We had to get off trail after a couple days. 
yeah um didn't go as planned you could say that next question is what kind of music do you like now you know in my get up you would think very 90s vibe um but i actually really do like a variety of music i would say i love country music i love pop i love like pretty much anything that you're gonna hear on like a typical radio station like i like the only thing i don't like listening to is like screamo like hardcore rock that's not my vibe. <laughs> I just, that music like just like stresses me out. Early 2000s country vibe, like Tim McGraw, ooh, Faith Hill, ooh, Shania Twain. You know, I love all those old school country music songs. So that's kind of my vibe. I listen to a lot of old music, but you know, it is what it is. Next question is what hobbies do you have? I already mentioned earlier, my probably my biggest hobby is running. Um, I absolutely love training for races and in the last few years I've actually gotten into the Disney races I've mentioned this a million times. So y'all are probably sick of it. I absolutely just love it It's a great community to be a part of outside of that. I enjoy, you know um, Like filming and editing. I really enjoy this process of YouTube. So this has been really fun for me I also enjoy just you know, like hanging out um I like going to see movies, you know, have you ever been to the movie theater by yourself? Like it's one of the greatest experiences. You don't want to talk to anyone, but you don't got to sit in your house. It's great. It's great. Um, I enjoy doing that. Um, I love going for walks around town, uh, but those are probably like my biggest hobbies and then hiking, of course. Next question is what kind of TV or movies do I like or like to watch? It depends. I'm definitely way more of a TV person, like like TV shows versus like movies. I like to really like dig in deep to characters. I love like anything where there's like big twists and like mysteries and stuff. Love anything with comedy in it. I love me some trash TV, like The Circle, Bachelorette, Bachelor, love that. Oh, currently I'm watching Wednesday on Netflix they just came out with a documentary about like um, the girl Wednesday from the Adams family I just caught up on the last season of The Walking Dead I don't know I kind of have like a weird taste like I like a lot of different things I like anything post apocalyptic I can't say that word you guys know what I'm saying this word this word <laughs> love those kind of shows um, I guess that's another hobby of mine watching TV <laughs> I don't know is that a hobby Next question is what is your relationship status? I'll keep it short, I am single. The next question is what is your favorite fast food? Um, my favorite fast food is actually Burger King because they have onion rings. Next question is do I have any tattoos? Yes, I have two tattoos. One on my shoulder, it is a sunflower. And then on my side right here, I have the uh, a cancer ribbon for my mom next question is do i have any pets i do not have any pets personally but my roommate does have a cat his name is copper he's super cute but i just call him kitten even though he's not a kitten anymore <laughs> he's still really cute like right now he's just sitting under the table you all see i'm just sitting under the table it's so cute hi copper little kitten the next question is what is my ideal post at future like i mean ideally i would get a job doing something i love and i don't know what that's gonna be um ideally i'd be moving out of florida going somewhere where i can do a lot of hiking a lot of outdoor activities other than just hiking you know like kayaking canoeing living on a lake would be a dream i, I think i would love to live on a lake house but <laughs> that costs money and your girl gonna be broke post at <laughs> but in my ideal future i'm not broke and i can afford to live on a lake <laughs> And I did not realize that that was my last question. So that was my last question. <laughs> um, next week, you guys are going to actually get the backpack video with all the specs and information. I decided to kind of just throw this one at you guys because it popped up in my subscription feed that Gabby Sarah and Appalachian Adventurista made these videos. So figured I'd follow along on the trend, you know, borrow their idea and um, make this video this week. So next week you guys will get my review of my new Osprey Aura LT and kind of give you guys my initial opinions and whatnot. Um, I haven't taken it out on like an overnight trip or anything like that. So all I can really give you is like my day hike opinion. So that's what we can be looking forward to. And next week we'll be in February people. We will be in February. <laughs> 
crazy, crazy. Actually, tomorrow, if you guys are seeing this the day it's posted, tomorrow we will be in February. It's wild. All right, anywho, I will see y'all next week. Bye.